Clinicians are the lifeblood of our Sing Health Duke NUS Academic Medical Center. To recognize our clinical faculty who have distinguished themselves through clinical mastery, exemplary standards of professionalism, and academic excellence, Duke NUS launched the Hall of Master Academic Clinicians in 2021. This year, we are delighted to announce the induction of a second cohort of Master Academic Clinicians. These special individuals are role models who encourage and elevate those around them, epitomizing the core values of Duke NUS. Their wisdom and expertise come from years dedicated to honing their clinical skills and advancing academic medicine in the pursuit of helping their patients, all with the goal of transforming medicine and improving lives. So I'm uh, fortunate to have been taught by quite a few eminent academics during my medical school days. As clinicians, they have uh, immaculate uh, clinical skills and uh, diagnostic acumen. And then as uh, teachers, they, uh, they love and care for their students and would not hesitate uh, to, uh, to be critical and strict. And as researchers, they, uh, they are innovative. They are also uh, leaders in the respective fields and always in a position to influence and advocate for changes in policies for the better. So I'm inspired by them and I aspire to be like them. Teaching is just part of the DNA of the uh, medical profession. Not only doctors, but also nurses and allied health. And every day we teach. We hope that they become uh, better doctors and this is translated into uh, also better patient care. I encountered a patient who presented with uh, acute asthma attack. She was not able to uh, use the inhaler properly. To my surprise, she's also a healthcare worker. Uh, that sparks my thoughts that if a healthcare worker is not able to uh, use the medication effectively, then I think our patients will even find it more challenging. When I was uh, doing my fellowship training at Guy's Hospital in London, I was exposed to the academic practice of radiology. So when I came back to Singapore from my training, I was determined to also uh, play a part in uh, developing the evidence for my area of practice. On top of that, I realised that just transposing data and evidence from Western population would not be suitable for us. You know, in our own population, we have peculiar diseases that we do not see in the West. So it's very important that we create the evidence so that we can have the best treatment for our patients. One of the biggest rewards is being able to do something that actually can impact the outcomes and improve the outcomes of many of our patients. And that can be challenging because research is pushing some of the boundaries and also trying to implement this in a system that's already very high functioning and doing very well. And sometimes we go into administration, we go into teaching, we go into all kinds of other associated activity. It's all about uh, finding new ways to uh, make treatment better. And so this uh, continuous uh, curiosity and challenge uh, is the reward. The nurturing of the younger doctors uh, gives me great pleasure when I see them successful and advancing to a higher level and achievement than what I can do. The biggest reward is that uh, I enjoy my work. I have the opportunity to meet with uh, different people outside of dentistry and that would include people like scientists, engineers, as well as uh, academics from all over the world. There is a, a common passion for their research and technology. So I find this uh, common passion and like-mindedness very inspiring. The world is your oyster. There are so many opportunities from being a good clinician to getting trained to be a good surgeon to uh, doing research from bedside to uh, bench side and back to the bedside. And uh, at the system level, you can also be a good administrator, organize the healthcare system, or even go into business and look at how healthcare financing uh, can be better organized. I would advise them 
to go for the area which they are en enjoying. One also has to be persistent because on the way there will be difficulties and you have to overcome all this. As far as looking after the patients, always remember to think about the patients. At the end of the day, it is the journey that counts. So many of us may be too focused on uh, achieving results or meeting the KPIs and we forget to enjoy the journey. My advice to them would be to enjoy the moment, uh, whatever the result may be. Don't chase glory. Let glory chase you. I, I think it's been an uh, interesting journey and I think many of I've been very impressed by the passion and the enthusiasm and drive of many of our students. And I think we've uh, used Zoom a lot, email, text messages and other ways. But I think keeping that personal relationship and contact is important. Showing concern and just being available when uh, needed. Part of mentoring is to have a personal relationship. And oftentimes, I find that that's best uh, done through having a meal with your mentee. What I do is, uh, you know, we continue the regular interactions over Zoom. We create a similar atmosphere by saying, look, why don't you go and uh, take away some food and then we can talk over a meal, but virtually. I have created a forum called Passion in Family Medicine Research. Uh, over at Zoom, we invited students to come on board the meeting and we share our research projects. Many of them subsequently join the study team, continue to participate in the research project as investigators, and some of them have even published. And subsequently, when the restrictions were somewhat uh, lifted, then we have to work very hard uh, to, to bring the uh, students back, to, uh, to tutor them and to mentor them on the uh, physical examination skills. Of course, uh, integrity is the most important. Without integrity, to ensure that you walk the straight and narrow, you are going to be very dangerous. And once you have integrity, then you can have the courage to do things. Not only courage to succeed, but also the courage to fail. And of course, we need the compassion to carry out. It is important that patient is at the heart of all we do. Not only towards your patients, but also uh, with your colleagues, your family members, and your and your friends. The one that particularly resonates with me at this stage in my journey is uh, that of collaboration. And, and the reason for that is because we can achieve more together. There's a nice African proverb that I think encapsulates uh, how I feel about this, and it goes like this. It says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. I think it's about living the values uh, of the Duke and U.S. school. So I'm very grateful that uh, I have uh, shared this journey in the past 10, 12 years and continue to live the values along with the staff and the students.